guys, this is Miss Kent, and I'm coming with you, coming to you with a short video on how to work slide three. There's been a lot of confusion, so make sure yours says slide three. The left side is your guided practice. That means the questions we should show you how to actually solve them. And then on the right side is supposed to be your asynchronous work so that you can do them on your own. And you can come to tutoring if you need help. But those are your practice problems. Asynchronous is independent work. Okay. So taking a look at number one, we're going to do the square root of 24. That should be on slide one. So we are not guided practice. Slide three, guided practice. So click on those slides. All right. So this is what your slide should look like. What you want to do is hit the plus sign, hit the table. You want to backspace that one off. You want to come over here and backspace the Y1. And you want to type the number under the radical divided by X squared. Why X squared? The opposite of square root is X squared. The opposite of square root is X squared. So then you come in. And you actually just type in your numbers. And then once you've gotten a few in, you could just hit enter. And you have to go until you see a zero. Do you see that 0 0.96? When you hit a zero, there are no more whole numbers. A whole number cannot come after zero. So therefore, we're going to use the last set. Start at the bottom and go to the top. So as you can see, I've kind of highlighted that. So the 6 and the 2. The 2 is being squared and is divided into 24. So the first step is to write the original problem. The next step is take the number in the X column and square it. 2 times 2. And if you multiply by the number in the Y column, it should equal the original problem. Something is wrong. Mine is not equal. Miss Kent, you didn't type 24. You forgot your 4. So when you see something that's incorrect, go back and check your work. Once you have <clears throat> squared the 2, then you know that you can pull out a pair. So 2 goes on the outside and 6 goes on the inside. That is your final answer. We've done number 1. All right, let's go over to number 2. And I'm going to speed this up as we get a few in because you should start seeing the pattern. So we're going to hit the table. We're going to backspace. <clears throat> we're going to take the Y1 off. We're going to type 63 divided by X squared. Start typing in our numbers. Once we hit a few in, we just hit enter until we hit the zero. We find our last set of whole numbers, which is 3 and 7. Go from the bottom up to the whole numbers side by side. All right, type the original. All right, square the 3. 3 times 3 times it by the number in the Y. <clears throat> Bring the 3 out. Leave the 7 in because I have a pair of 3s. Again. If you need to see it, stop the video at any time and go back and look at the problem. All right, we're moving on to the next one. We got the square root of 12. You should be getting the hang. All right, I got my last two numbers, which is 2 and 3. I come back. I, I don't vary from the process. Keep it the same. Each time you learn math by following steps. <clears throat> when you make a mistake, just check your work. All of us type and hit the wrong keys, as you can see. They should match. Double checking my work. Make sure I use the right numbers. Bring it out. And there we go. All right, we only got a few more, guys. All right, we're on C, square root of 72. 
As you can see, this is not taking me a long period of time. Type in your numbers. You just start at zero, one, two, enter, enter, enter. Uh oh. One is missing. Three, enter. Okay, it's not working. So you just go back and type them. Sometimes they're sensitive. All right, I hit my zero. So let's go down. My numbers are six and two. Type the original. I'm making mistakes here. My Apple Pencil acting up times two. All right, I just want to double check my numbers. Six and two. Very good. My decimals match. Bring the six on the outside. That's my pair. And on the inside. All right. I only have three more. We want to start at the top. And anytime that you need to see what I'm doing, just stop the video. All right. We have 27 divided by x squared. Why x squared? Because the opposite of square root is x squared. It's the square of the number. All right, zero, there's my zero, so I stop. I type my original. <clears throat> I go ahead and put in my, oh, I got three, three threes, three. That's okay, put them all. Don't, don't negate because the number repeats, okay? Don't delete. So now I'm gonna bring a three out, but guess what? I still got a three on the inside. So I brought my pair outside the radical and I left my other one under the radical. Number six. Seventy-five divided by X to the second. All right, write your numbers. So you're just dividing each number into 75. You're dividing each number into 75 until you find your last set of whole numbers, which means no other number is going to produce a perfect square. So once you have tried all of the numbers till you get to zero, then you're done. All right, write my original. Five and three are my last of the whole numbers. And that's my answer. We only got one more left, guys. <clears throat> so we hit the um, table again. See that gray box right there? You got to make sure that's gone. If that if that triangle appears, that means you didn't type it right. All right, put my numbers in. Start at zero. Hit zero. Okay, I'm done. Last perfect square is 2 and 15. And that is it. If you missed any part of this video, please go back and um, stop it and make sure that you understand it. Please complete your slides before Saturday. It would make your teacher very happy. See y'all in the next one.